is Queen Nija, and in today's video, I will be reacting to Ruins to Episodes 1 and 2 of Koyomi Monogatari. Okay, so I was told last... between Friday and last, last Friday and last Saturday, and a couple of days ago, um, that these are short, and they're short, uh, they're not, okay, thank God they are not freaking Heya Camp short, three to five minute. I would have been like... I'm not watching these unless they're all together. But they're 13 minutes long. I'm guessing, like, what it could possibly be is maybe a little short stories of things that happened that we didn't really get to see. Almost like deleted scenes in a way. I'm not 100% sure. But I think they'll still be, um, they'll still connect with the overall story of the Monogatari series. I'm not 100% sure. I feel like... I don't know, because, I mean, with this, I feel like, I don't think there's going to be, like, a unique opening. I think, I don't think that's going to happen. I think, more or less, it's going to be, like, several different openings that we've seen from the beginning up until now. I don't know, maybe my way might be in this, who knows? But other than that, I'm about to sneeze, oh my god. Other than that, let's go ahead and get started on episode one, and three, two, one, go. Okay. Okay. And it even says the name to what the fu okay. It's so weird to go back and listen to her in this show, now knowing her as um, La Brava and My Hero. <laughs> you hear her, you're just like, that's not Honey Kala. And everybody's like, yeah, it is. I'm like, mm. <laughs> uh, after that first weekend, calendar slide. Okay. So we're like literally all the way back in the beginning of the series, are we? Oh, it's a ghost room. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. To like repay him or something like that? Okay. 
It looks... <laughs> yeah, it kind of makes sense just to walk around the school. I mean, I kind of did that before I started high school, even though it was the day of. Okay, well, what did the stone used to look like? Uh, okay. Maybe comedy? And we actually have, oh my god, thank you! <laughs> I just keep laughing up. But I was like, remember, we're probably never going to see this dude ever again. <laughs> Yeah, but why would someone want to put offerings and everything up there to, you know, worship it and stuff? What did this stone do for this person? I know you can't just say anything and just stop when you want to. <laughs> Why the curriculum? Too, but you know, students are fucking curious as hell. Okay. Also, oh, then someone. May okay, basically, yeah, that's what you mean. Mm hmm.
and I'm guessing you even wear a diaper to Walmart. Yeah, so he kept it there. Yeah, sees the stone, and then puts the stone inside of the shrine. Makes sense. <laughs> oh, okay. Jeez. I mean, honestly, these one-off short stories. I don't know. I kind of want to take back what I said at the beginning before I watched the episode. I feel like now, even after watching this, oh my god, like, um, I don't think they're going to connect. Maybe, like, because I, I think somebody said that the last two or three episodes are supposed to connect. But I feel like overall, maybe all 13, 13 episodes of the movie for this season, um, 13 or 12, I don't remember, I gotta go back and look. May or may not, I don't know. I mean, cause like, what it was, like, it, it, after this season, this arc really essentially me going to the next one, is any of it really truly gonna connect? Is anything that's gonna happen in episode two connect to something happen in episode one? Who freaking knows? They just feel like what little one-off stories and stuff that, um... The author of the series just decided to write, and they all just decided to animate them. It's interesting. I do like the fact that, you know, it's just one and done. Like, here it is. Here's beginning to end. 
there is no like several two or three or episodes just to figure out the whole entire story of the whole i do kind of like how we went it, it could the way it looked it we went like almost all the way back to the beginning of the damn series and i'm like i mean honestly yeah because oh she was still there she was there with him she's not with agarai it, it felt so weird about like a like i was watching an episode of the twilight zone or i was in an in a, uh, an out-of-body experience and i was like well this used to be like this, and it's not like this, and it's like, okay, now this is kind of weird, though. I don't know, it's like, almost, <laughs> like, that's some space-time continuums, did like, you ruined the time stream or some shit, I don't know. <laughs> but it was an interesting one-off episode, especially because I was, like, thinking, okay, something about a stone, yeah, yeah, I get that. I was like, we're probably not going to know more about this until, like, episode two, right? But I just love the fact is... Everything we needed to know about it beginning to end was all in the span of one episode. So it just makes you kind of wonder what episode two is going to be about. I mean, because if episode one was about I'm gonna doing one work, which I've honestly never did in high school. I was more of the fine arts and everything, just like Hanukkah and stuff. But, um, and plus we didn't really, at my high school, by the time when I, um, when I started high school, because I was living in Nebraska and I just moved back here, well, like a couple, couple three to five months before school started here in Florida, um, I didn't get to choose my classes. My classes were already chosen for me. So into the following year, um, my school are really I like to say schools here in Duval County. Um, typically, once the school year is up, they usually take courses out that are not relatively important anymore. They like to really focus more on sports because um, I think around the time when I was going to essentially graduate, they were taking like chorus and shit out. They were they took drivers that out of our school, so that was really nice to do that over the summer and bullshit and stuff like that. But yeah, going back to my other conversation, like <laughs> knowing that it was like the thing that he created in their way <laughs> and finding out the stone was just concrete. <laughs> Oh my god. I mean, I'm glad that, like, Hanekawa had a little more, um, presence in this episode, in this little short, really. I don't really anyone, like, <sighs> sometime after, what, the first two episodes of Baki Monogazuri, just having those two together, because, I mean, every single time when I see or just hear them, hear Hanakawa and Aga, um, Araga really just talk in their relationship, because I do love their relationship more as in the beginning how I was, where I was like, oh my god, I shift them. Now it's just more of a friendship because of the fact is I'm like gung-ho for Sinjahara, and I'm like, yep, that's the end game. I'm like, yeah, Hanakawa, my other best girl, you're just over here on the side. You're gonna find someone who loves you. But yeah, I mean, it was just still nice because, like I said, when I see them, together all I get reminded of are the movies or any other time when they get to have a moment together and to just talk as just a guy and a girl can do without having it be into a relationship or some shit, you know. But yeah, I right. go ahead and pause the video and I'll see you guys in one second for episode two. Okay, episode two and three, two, one, go. It's so weird to just like hear this song over again I mean <laughs> going back to almost like a year ago watching this damn show and looking at this opening and I was like what the fuck is this show like I'm, I'm so confused already but I was intrigued at the scene <laughs> and now coming in so it's just like oh hey it's just like a dis <laughs> like to say hi Uh, this song's so good. It's kind of underrated, though, for me. I don't know. And I'm guessing because we have this song, we're focusing on Santa Hara today. <laughs> now that just said flower. Okay. <laughs> First stone, now flower. What the hell's gonna be next after this episode? Watch the next episode, gonna be my way. I mean, I ain't gonna know until it's again. Mm 
did I hear that song? Oh, I don't think that was like that before in Black Day Monica. I would have to mm -hmm. after after I'm done recording, I'm gonna go back. Mm -hmm. Because she still has some long hair, so this is like maybe what sometime after her situation. Oh, okay, so this was literally like what a couple like a day or so after her so okay. Mm -hmm. So yeah, if you give him a story, then that'll be a good way to repay him. Yeah, honey, I would did it so. There was no car coming. Yeah, she was gonna walk. Hmm? Flowers? Oh my god. How if there's barely cars in this show? <laughs> you barely see people driving around. Oh my god. Do you remember a story when somebody got hit by a car? <clears throat> God, I can't wait until she comes into Magic Over Quiddy. It's gonna be so good. <laughs> I just gotta save up for her. The fudge! <laughs> My So then if there wasn't a student that ever died in the 18 years, why are there flowers? <clears throat> So someone did get hit and die.
Okay, but is there someone, you know... Yeah. Because there could be a case of someone running, like, jumping in front of a moving car. But still, there's barely cars in this damn series! Really? Really? Are you serious? <laughs> what? <laughs> was that just a really nice way to announce that he was going to be an Attack on Titan? <laughs> Probably not, but maybe at that time, people were probably like, Are we serious? That's it? Okay. Okay, that kind of makes sense to me. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. And they just don't want anything to happen to someone. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, able to figure it out. True. Yeah, you exactly. And then some people would either have like a picture or a sign. <clears throat>
And never talk about it again. Because usually sometimes you have to do that. Okay. I, I get the fact is to putting flowers somewhere to indicate that, yes, the place is dangerous. I, I understand 100% that. But typically, like, I would think, because I've seen it before in places, especially, you know, um, on the highway when there's a car accident, you do see a bunch of bouquets of flowers and then a sign that says drive safely, yada, 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 and such. Some places um, necessarily have a picture of the person or persons who passed away, especially with, uh, it's not really more of a car accident, it was abuse thing, especially with the kid. If you've seen the, the Gabriel Fernandez story on Netflix, like, I would 100% watch that. And what happened, I don't want to go into graphic details about it and stuff, but um, there was this tree that uh the neighborhood picked out together and they put his picture and like belongings and things that they wanted to give him and stuff for like his birthdays and Christmases and everything and it kind of gave me like a little feel sort of that because it's uh, a constant reminder to know that someone who is no longer in this world anymore is still being loved by so many people who never really got the chance to meet him or her or anyone it seems like that like just uh, someone who's just lost and who's, you know, they're gone, but they're not forgotten. People still have, like, he, he or she, they're in the hearts of anyone. But, I mean, okay. This was an interesting one. I, I would say I kind of like this one a little more than the stone one. The stone one was interesting, though. They both were interesting, but it just seemed like the flower one gave, to me, a better message than the stone. I mean, yes, he'll know that, yeah, Agragi was the one who did the work in the, you know, when he was in his first year and it's like that, and then coming back to it and finding out that <laughs> it was his stuff and then they just made him try for it and everything, but this, like, going into it and knowing that it wasn't really about someone who, a person who died relatively than saying, hey, this is a dangerous place, and even putting a sign on it saying, hey, danger don't come over here because then it now constantly makes me wonder like if they do that in japan do they put flowers out in the mound or they do they just have science because like here in florida um like i said they do have the flowers and the dry safety sign when you are driving on a highway but um going to like uh, the mall or an outlet mall or the jacksonville landing even though that is <laughs> that is like gone they're making something new into that now um they don't really have signs for like uh to respect people who possibly passed away there or maybe like a monument or a statue or something i mean i don't know if like a lot like okay think about like the twin towers in um in new york they have like all the names of the people who died that day and it's a memorial it's something that people can go to remember those people and remember that day and to be upset because that was a tragic day for us here in America. But, you know, you got to also think about um, smaller towns, smaller states and stuff like that, like Florida or Nebraska or California, New York, Philadelphia, or really no Pennsylvania, my bad. Um, Mayor, no, Delaware. Uh, that's what I was thinking. I was about to say Maryland. Um... <laughs> Uh, I don't know. I can't really think of any more states like um, any any state, any country, town, whatever. When something tragic happens, and it's like that. But yeah, like I said, both were really good. I enjoyed them both a lot. I uh, I really honestly now is after watching these two episodes and seeing, as I said in the previous one, that they are one offs, but they kind of really. Um, as I said, they're kind of, like, they're, in a way, they're, like, deleted scenes, and I don't want to say, like, 100%, yeah, it's a deleted scene, but it's still something that is canon to one of the girls' episodes, especially because it seems like, um, episode one with the stone was relatively somewhat before or maybe after the Hanukkah situation was fixed with her 
with um the tiger and then with this one episode two it had to be like literally right after episode um three or four of Baki Monogatari after dealing with San Johanna's situation and stuff and how she's going to be able to repay them. So it feels like every single one of these episodes, we're going to see a story that these girls have in order to repay Oshino back. And I think it's still interesting to have Oshino back in this show because, as I said in episode one, are really going back to the end of Baki Monogatari because I was assuming that we were never, ever going to see, you know, Oshino again, that he would be somewhere, Bermuda, Bermuda freaking triangle, somewhere where he will, you know, be chilling on the beach or some shit, like somewhere where he's just like drinking away. And, you know, he just, because of the fact is everything, you know, falls into Agaragi's hands right now. And he has to deal with it and the, the good, the bad and whatever and such. And so just to come back to go to a flashback and to see him, you know, still go to Oshino for, like, questions, you know, I mean, answers that he has questions to, it, it's nice because, to me, I, when I, when I, when I saw Oshino for the first time, I was like, okay, so yeah, you're gonna be a main character, you're gonna be in this whole entire series, right? <laughs> Boy, was I wrong. <laughs> and to have him, as of right now, he's maybe been in, I think he's the, out of all the characters in this show that we've met, I don't think he is the number wise. I don't think he has the shortest amount of episodes, but he he's in those numbers like with um with a girl who played um who plays Momo Momo's VA and My Hero Academia and a couple of others because I could say I'm I'm gonna say maybe he's in like less than twenty episodes because you gotta think of every episode from Baki Monogatari the one episode about the time travel with um, Agaragi and Shinobu and when he was doing the rock climbing thing. But that necessarily... It was still him even though it was... Um, it was like a rock form of him. And then you have to count how many other episodes he's going to be in this. So maybe about 20, I could say, episode count. I don't know. I'm not 100% sure. But yeah. I mean, hopefully we get to see more in these next few episodes coming up. I hope, like, episode three and four either has Kambadu and Mayue because I think they would be the next one. Maybe Shinobu has a story and such, but I don't think, I think that would be kind of after Oshino is officially gone, maybe, because after, when Shinobu is with Agaragi, you know, o Oshino really has no use to be in, in the show anymore. And that were, these are things that I was thinking about, especially with the fact is when Shinobu officially was with Agaragi, I was like, well, think it in my head. And I never said it out loud. I was like, well, damn. Oshino is just going to be like kicked off this fucking show, is he not? But I mean, mm. in a way, kind of. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episodes one and two of Koyo Yumano God City. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday for everyone. Oh, no, for Patreons. And next Monday for everybody else for episodes three and four. Bye, guys.